Yeah, so I think uh, when it comes to your perspective in golf, there's really two points that I would make. Uh, and the first one is that you're not your golf score. Golf is something you do. Uh, it's not something you become. You don't become your golf score. And you might say, well, I never become my golf score. But if you treat yourself differently after you play well versus after you play poorly, you're becoming your golf score. So a typical example might be uh, you play well, or if you're a parent watching this, you're son or daughter plays well and you go out and you treat them to a really nice meal but then if you play poor or your child plays poor uh, then you go somewhere that's not as well and you go you know kind of quick drive through well that's sending a signal that i am what my golf score is and you really gotta make sure that you're not doing that i counsel one of my students last year on the pga tour who struggled with this some like a lot of players do to make sure that after every friday round no matter he made the cut and he was playing great or whether he missed the cut by five shots, that he was going to treat himself the exact same way, which was really well from Friday when he was done until Saturday, either when he teed off again or either when he went back to work, uh, working for the next week. But so you just, you got to resist the temptation to become your golf score and realize like other people in life that have a job, that it might be your job and it's something you want to perform well at, but it is not your identity. Because when golf becomes your identity, you're going to live and die with all the emotional kind of highs and lows, and that's not going to be a healthy lifestyle. The second point that I would make about your perspective is understanding short-term versus long-term kind of how you work. So short-term, you should hold yourself accountable each and every day uh, to getting better and, and to completing your plan for that day. Obviously, that assumes that you have a plan, but short term it's all about hey i'm going to get better today and i'm going to hold myself accountable i'm not going to just be sloppy and lazy and let myself get bored but i'm going to go out and put in a good day of work uh, whether i'm three weeks from a tournament or whether it's the day before a tournament and then uh, in terms of um, long term what you want to be thinking is that the work that you're doing will show up in time but just because i work really hard Tuesday and Wednesday doesn't mean that work is automatically going to show up Thursday. I see a lot of players uh, at all levels, junior, college, and professional, who try to validate their work in that weekend based on what they did Monday to Friday. And that's just not the way the best players in the world are doing it. They know these are the things that I need to get better at, and they work on them consistently, and then they have opportunities for feedback throughout the year. So that's really the two points I would make about your perspective is don't let golf become your identity and then put in good work every day, but don't try to validate it right away. Let it show up in time. You just keep showing up with the right attitude and the right mindset and good scores will follow. Golf should be probably about, I don't know, fourth or fifth in your life. It's never going to be uh, as important as your family um, or maybe your extended family, potentially your faith. Even if you're in school, it can't be as important as school because if you're not eligible, you're not going to play. So I see players struggle when golf becomes the number one thing in their life. And they really kind of go through these ups and downs and highs and lows uh, with their score. And then if golf is like seventh or eighth or ninth, we should probably just call it a hobby and um, go have fun with the hobby. But, but if you're taking golf seriously, it should be around, I would say, fourth or fifth uh, kind of in your life and how you look at your life. But if, it, if it's first or even second in your life, you're going to struggle uh, with the emotional highs and lows.